Yeah. My favorite dishes are kung tomre. I have gobe like mm -hmm. in the morning. There is a level that I cannot go past. <laughs> My feedback though would be to anybody who would want to come is mm -hmm. do your research. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the Move Me Back series. Today I'll be talking to Maya, who I absolutely love already. Um, <laughs> so Maya, tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay, are you Ghanaian? So no, I'm not Ghanaian. You're not Ghanaian? No, okay. No, no. I'm American and Jamaican. Oh, American and Jamaican. Mm -hmm. So I guess you could say down the road, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because Jamaicans are believed to have mostly derived from the Akan and Asante people. So mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, yeah no, there's yeah. definitely similarities there yeah. for, yeah. Sure. for sure. Oh yeah, for sure. Right, okay. So you're living in Ghana now? Yes, almost two years. October will be two, two years. years. Okay, so that's a pretty good stint, right? Yeah. That's longer than some people have lasted. <laughs> so be proud, so. be proud. Thank you. Thank you very much, <laughs> thank you. So tell me, what made you move to Ghana? How did that happen? So it's, when people ask me this question, I always have to do a deep sigh because mm -hmm. the short answer to that question is God. I had my first experience here on mm -hmm. like a girl's trip okay. um, in, you know, maybe five years ago. And at first, similar to what you just said, I was mm -hmm. really blown away with the similarities mm -hmm. of how, it, you know, you uh, land in Jamaica, it feels like you landed, mm -hmm. you know, the similarity to landing at Kokota. Yeah. And, um, I really had an amazing time. I thought that Ghana was, you know, you could feel this vibration of growth for yeah. sure as mm -hmm. soon as I, I got here. And I had my little spiritual moment out there, mm -hmm. maybe uh, Kokobrite Beach, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And I really feel in that moment that I heard God, like wow. kind of plant that seed in my heart that mm -hmm. this is where I belonged, you know? Yeah. And I don't think I believed it. It took mm -hmm. me about four or five years to Really? To so you were holding off for all that time? Well, I thought I was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, maybe I should just lay off of whatever mm. I was doing at the time, yeah. I guess. But I thought it was really crazy. Mm. And I think <clears throat> 2020 being all that that year yeah. ended up being for mm -hmm. all of us, yes. I took the plunge and I decided to come and try it out for a few months, mostly just to see how I could assimilate. Mm -hmm. Could I really? do something yeah, really yeah. Be here and I've kind of been here since so <laughs> really so hold on so when you came here for those few months was your in your intention was not to stay just I was going to come for like three months and just see what it was like, like what does it really cost mm. to be here right. um, what are the true differences to life in Miami Florida versus Accra Ghana mm -hmm. you know how could I contribute to society how can I assimilate um, yeah. in the culture um, what could I do and Honestly, too, to disconnect from so much of the toxicity that was going on mm -hmm. in the media in the United States. Mm -hmm. So I gave myself a time limit, try it out for three months, mm -hmm. and everything being divine, I think that certain opportunities lined up for me. Mm -hmm. And I think it was also the time of the Capitol riots, right, honestly. Right. So I was like, ah, uh, let me just. <laughs> Not a good time to go back, huh? <laughs> I, was, I was like, you know, let me just see <laughs> what it's about. And mm. uh, I. I have no regrets, I actually have wow. no regrets. Yeah. Wow, so you've just been here ever since? Yes, well I've visited home obviously, yeah. I've mm -hmm. come back to see family. You need balance, mm -hmm. no break, but yeah. Okay, so tell me, how did you plan that move? Because in theory a lot of people would love to say, okay I'm just going to get up and go. But it does take a little bit of planning, so how did you plan from Okay, had you been to Ghana before? Okay, yes. you mentioned you had, right? Yes. Had you been a few times in order to know like perhaps where you would want to live? Did you know enough to say, okay, I'm ready to do the move or literally did you go blind? Yeah, so the truth is no, I didn't have that much research done. Mm -hmm. I wasn't completely blind. I had friends. I um, actually knew of other Americans that had made their way over here. Okay. I subscribed to all the blogs that I could mm -hmm. on different ch social media yeah. mediums. Mm -hmm. um, um, and I also participated in a few of the Gooba oh, events, okay. Okay. right? Mm -hmm. The one that they had in London and mm -hmm. just different Zooms and stuff like that. Right. So, um, because of knowing people, I felt confident to come for three months, mm. right? <clears throat> what area did I want to be in? I didn't know that much of Accra. Like, I had only seen as much of Accra that you would see yeah. December's yeah. in Ghana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's quite a different experience than mm -hmm. to look to look here, to yeah. live here. But, you know, people gave me some good advice. Like, mm. you need to come with enough money to live off of for six months, nine yeah. months, 12 yeah. months. Um, and... I'm a nomad a little bit, so that doesn't uh, scare me to come okay. and just try it out for a little bit. Yeah. So 
I did as much research as I could over the course of about 10 months. Mm -hmm. um, but for the few, as, from the time that I left Ghana, I started to follow the president's updates. Mm -hmm. I was really impressed with how he handled communications during the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was really impressive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I was following the year of the return before that, just, right. you know, that mm -hmm. whole feeling of welcome that yeah. was being stirred. Mm. Um, so my heart was already there. Yeah. It was just about my body logistics moving. lining yeah. up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right, right, <laughs> right. You move your body from one country. Right. right. So my, my feedback though would be to anybody who would want to come is, mm. Do your research. Mm -hmm. Figure out like how carefully can you cut ties or wherever you are. Mm -hmm. um, what does that really mean? Think about being in a developing yeah. country where mm -hmm. everything is different. Even internet. Yeah, you know? everything. I have is to. Different. I know what. There's specific times I need to stay in the house so mm -hmm. that I can have an internet call with my family. Mm -hmm. Not because there's not data outside, yeah. but because a WhatsApp call on the streets, well, I'll pull my hair out. Oh, you know? yeah, yeah, you can't, just don't <laughs> yeah. even try, I, I never even do that, no, no. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, I think I probably could have done a little bit more research, but like I said, mm -hmm. Ghana has been so safe and welcoming, mm -hmm. you know, that... Mm -hmm. Wow. I made it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's pretty cool. So were you worried in terms of like finance, like how were you going to support yourself while you were here? Well, what I was advised by, and you know, shout out to different folks who were in the different WhatsApp platforms mm. that were available for a call. And they kind mm. of told me what they pay in rent, okay, what they pay in like phone and data usage, mm. what they pay in transportation costs. Mm. And I extrapolated that over three months and I was like, okay, I could come. Even mm. though I knew I had money to stay for yeah. obviously much longer than mm, that. Mm, mm. And um, that's kind of how I did it. Right. Yeah. So I would say like financially I could have, it depends. It depends on the lifestyle that you want to live here. Mm -hmm. There's Very levels much. to it. Yep. There is a level that I cannot go past. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment, so at the moment, you'll get there. So, uh -huh. I mean, like, I can't go beneath a certain standard of yeah. living, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, I knew that my costs were going to be somewhat higher. Yeah. And I would say for folks who are looking to transition, mm -hmm. keep in your budget mm -hmm. money to go back and forth. Yes. Because you do. You yeah, don't, yeah. don't need to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So how do you support yourself now that you are here? So I have my own real estate company. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Magnate Realty. Mm -hmm. um, I partnered with um, a wonderful mentor of mine, um, supporter and friend, and he helped me get registered. Mm -hmm. And um, I networked the heck out of everything I could and built a portfolio. Wow. Um, and I'm lucky to even have a lot more, I would say, expat clientele yeah. mm -hmm. so I know I can be a true resource to them mm -hmm. I know I've been through the shit yeah I've been through the great part yeah I've been yep. through the mm -hmm. scary part so I know how to help you yeah in your transition and mm -hmm. so I am I'm here doing like all of my favorite things to yeah. be honest with you yeah um I also model sometimes when when I the time saw is right. a couple of your Instagram pictures <laughs> today and I was like I was, I was saying to a friend of mine I was like that her like <laughs> Thank you it's so, so much. cool, so beautiful. And I got to meet some really fun people. There's mm. so many talented, so much talent here. In yeah, mm -hmm. so much creative talent, mm -hmm. and that blesses my soul. Yeah, um, and that's also how I afford shopping because okay. a lot of times I just I'm happy to work out, trade for beautiful product, um, and I also love to furnish homes mm. and decorate homes. You Interior know, design. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I do some property management, some consulting, rentals. Um, sales, which is a, a long-term process. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Absolutely. It's not like it looks like on those Netflix shows. I know. <laughs> it's not, right? It's like, oh, so three today. Yeah. I know. Uh, no, it's not. It's not like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But it's, there's still so much opportunity. And so mm. those things combined, Yeah. sometimes it can just be the most random thing, mm, you know? Mm, mm, mm. I think that's really important what you've just said because you've mentioned doing lots of different things all at the same time. Yeah. And I think that's... A true entrepreneur. Right, exactly. Because that's some, something that people tend to miss. They feel like you can come here, get a job, or you can do one thing, and that will support you. But actually, the reality is that you need to be doing lots of different things. So if something happens in one area, you have other areas to support you, and you can right. keep going. And they kind of have to find a way to be able to work together, right. so they work for you, right. so you're not under too much pressure. So right. mentioning those things is really important. Right. And it's mm. really not that scary, because if you think about it, if you plan it the right way, Mm -hmm. Or if you really in a you know tune to self, yeah, you technically could build your dream life. Like I go horseback riding, I 
do stuff with fashion. I make my own artwork mm -hmm. to, to you know furnish homes. Mm -hmm. I shop for furniture, you know. I get to network and meet yeah. some of the most amazing people and mm -hmm. that all keeps the roof over my head and yeah. keeps me safe and keeps me healthy. And so. it's something you're obviously passionate about. Yeah. I can see in your face as yeah. you're smiling, right? <laughs> yeah, I am. You love what you do. I do. And I think that's what life is. Life is about loving what you do, right? right. It's not just about having a job, but it's doing right. something you're actually passionate about and like you're, you're like ready to wake up in the morning, you're like right. ready to go, like right. what's on today kind right. of thing. So yeah, you that's know, really I remember good. those days being in, you know, in different jobs in mm. the States, which I, I was fortunate to work with some of the greatest companies mm. in, 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 in real estate and property management. Mm. And therefore I was exposed to some of the most amazing um, experiences. But I do remember mm. those moments where I would wake up and be like, all right, you know, whereas today, mm -hmm. like I'll roll over, yep. you know, pat my dog, uh -huh. get up, make my coffee, uh -huh. take her out, look at my cell phone and then, hey, I need this or yeah. hey, I want to introduce you to this or mm -hmm. hey, I need help with this. Thing. And I'm excited to where yeah. my day will take me, you know, right. calling for a car, you know, mm -hmm. kind of doing a little negotiation and haggling, yeah. you know, but yeah. that just being truly being in the driver's seat of my life. Mm -hmm. I think that's been probably the most empowering, rewarding part of part of this and it's scary though mm -hmm. because if I don't get up and I don't perform I don't eat yes. I don't you know exactly. I, I have my timeline seems to shorten yeah you yeah. know but mm -hmm. it's really fun it's different from like I, I talk to friends in states and they're like I'm so tired of the rat race or you know I'm so tired of this or like oh, mm -hmm. how do I do it how do I mm -hmm. and I'll tell them like be prepared to be scared mm -hmm. crapless yeah <laughs> yep you know mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. if you can if you can be bold, if you can be brave, you can be true to your calling, whatever yeah. purpose God has placed over your life, mm -hmm. you can do it. And yeah. Ghana is definitely a hub for that. Now that's another thing that stood out to me when I came to Ghana, is how many entrepreneurs there are. Yeah, no. There's very few people who work for other people. Right. Well, in comparison. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, as you go mm -hmm. down the street, all the shops along the road, mm -hmm. everyone, even if they're selling the same thing, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, and yeah. Especially women. Mm -hmm. There's women who are out here standing in their rights and standing in their pride and they're mm -hmm. doing what they can do for their yes. families and for themselves yes. and I, I was super excited about it and mm. you know that's ex exactly where I am now yeah yeah awesome okay so do you feel that you had a lot of like bulk expenses at the beginning of your move things that you had to pay for like did you need a car um, paying for your rent how was that did were these bulk things that you had to come up with before you could do your move the biggest expenses were living mm -hmm. I came with my dog mm -hmm. so that was a pretty price tag right. to go through the process of getting her cleared to leave the United States and enter Ghana mm -hmm. and then that also limits me on where I can live like I can't live with like five other people in right. the house because not everybody is cool with having a dog even though mine is excellent yeah. Some of us are yeah. allergic. <laughs> so, well, I'm, I am too. I'm highly allergic to, to dogs, but I have a hypoallergenic stop dog. Stop spoiling my thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, 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 no. Hey. But um, I would say that rent was is definitely the biggest one mm. because mm. I like to. I've been happy to live on my own for so long that there's a level of comfort that I like to have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That, like getting cooking supplies, because I also love to cook. Okay. So I'm always buying different pots and pans. And okay. Okay. That was, and then I spent a lot on data. Mm -hmm. I haven't gotten my own car yet because in the beginning I kind of rented a car, gotten a few weird situations with mm -hmm. with that. It, 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 will, it will take you a while. What yeah. I would say to someone is, if you want to come here and buy a car and hire a driver, mm -hmm. do that yeah. for a good year before you actually start driving mm -hmm. yourself around on your own, at least. Okay. But for me, rent was the biggest ticket. Mm -hmm. um, and also, I love to eat out, so <laughs> food. But it really depends on how you plug in and where mm -hmm. you plug in. Mm -hmm. I think the furthest out I've lived is Teshinua. Okay. But after that, and then, you know, looking at other opportunities to partner or to work for people, mm. I ended up coming into the heart of the city um, where I'm now. And, yeah. And that has cut down my transportation costs. Right, right. But I am gearing up to finally get a car. Uh -huh. and, and that will definitely help me out a lot. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. That's really yeah. good. So tell me, what's been your biggest high since moving to Ghana? Oh my goodness. Uh, Tough which one. one? Huh? Uh, which one? Okay. That's so hard. You okay. know, like I said, I grew up riding horses. Mm -hmm. um, that's something my mom provided for us, that opportunity mm -hmm. to have that super special connection with nature. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's horses everywhere. I love, yeah. like, being in Labadi and the horse will just 
walking yeah, around. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd be at the beach chilling and there's mm -hmm. horses. Mm -hmm. So I actually go out to a stables out in, in Salam, like on the Avery side, mm -hmm. and I go horseback riding a lot. But like I said, I wanted to be a model a long time ago, and mm -hmm. I never really was able to pursue it because I think being the tiniest frame that I ever had, mm -hmm. I was told to like lose more weight, oh and I was like, I'm not gosh. going down this road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but then I've come here, and I'm constantly being asked to, so that's definitely mm -hmm. high. I think, honestly, other people seeing value in me that I didn't find in myself, right. or mm -hmm. wasn't really being projected onto me from being in states, I think, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's been super right. cool. Yes, and the, and yes. then the people, like, I've met some of the most wonderful people mm -hmm. being here in Ghana. Mm -hmm. People who really have had such empathy on me during my transition and my journey. Yeah. You know, there's been shoulders to cry on when it was necessary. Mm -hmm. There's been, you know, coffee patron to cheer mm -hmm. when the good things are happening, yeah. you know. And, uh, you know, it, I've been able to find my balance through those things. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's hard to pick one thing. Right. But okay. there's, been a, there's been a few mm -hmm. wonderful highs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So in contrast, what would you say has been like a bit of a low point for you? Well, the process of transitioning is not that easy. Um, mm -hmm. I'm here on a tourist visa, so I go in and out because okay. I need to. Mm -hmm. But the cost of getting like a residency permit is high. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's not, I think depending on who you know who can help you through the process, mm -hmm. it can be a little bit overwhelming. Yeah. So I would love to see that process change. Mm -hmm. And secondly, I would love to be some level of advocacy when it comes to tenant rights. Okay, okay. That is a completely, I've been a tenant my whole mm -hmm. adult life, yeah. and I've had wonderful relationships with my landlords. Mm -hmm. But I'll say here in Ghana, that has been something a little bit tricky. Yes. Um, and when things that affect your living situation, mm -hmm. when, when, that, that can really make you feel low, right? Right. Especially when you're coming here, you're kind of looking for home. Yeah. And then the landlord or caretaker takes specific positions, mm. which could be avoided by good communication or like partnership. Yeah. Um, what sort of things have you come across? Well, uh, I'm trying to think about it, but this delicately. Um, when someone wants money, they want money, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And the means of getting that even people I know who are like different levels of leadership, the things that they've told me that they personally have done to mm -hmm. get money mm -hmm. from people who've owed it to them or whatever, I'm like, right. come on now, mm -hmm. you know? So that can introduce something sticky. So that goes back to what I said, like when you're calculating your costs, mm -hmm. make sure you always have enough where your living situation is absolutely firm mm -hmm. and, and under control or that you can keep the upper hand in the right. situation. Right. Um, yeah, that's really what it boils down to. And then sometimes maybe <clears throat> cultural differences mm -hmm. on how things should be addressed. Mm -hmm. So you approach the same topic from two completely yeah. different paradigms. Yeah. That can make things a little bit more complicated than sometimes it needs to be. Mm -hmm. um, I w that's what I'm saying. I wish I could find or be part of an advocacy when it comes to living yeah. situations mm -hmm. here, um, specifically for Americans. I've spoken with the embassy about it and they're like, <laughs> so, you know, like I said, I would love to see mm, something mm. set up. I think these things will come in time. Yeah. The more people that we have kind of moved back and, you know, we sort of push for change in certain things, it will happen, but it does take time. Right. And that's why I think some people find Ghana a bit difficult because they can't wait for those processes. They feel like sometimes there's injustice or something like that. And so, they get frustrated and it's too much for them. Mm -hmm. But I think right now, the way that Ghana is, if you can, if you're happy to kind of be able to work with certain things that perhaps you're not happy about, then the rewards are there, right, right to be had. So right. it's like, it's a process, you know, like you might live on a dirt road, eventually the real road will come, but right. if you buy the house while the dirt road is there, it's right. gonna be cheaper than buying the house when there's a road. Right. So it's like kind of like give and take. So right. it can be a bit tricky, yeah. you know? For us from outside, I would say is mm. we have to recondition our minds. Like you have to leave your expectations your, there. Yes. You have to be completely open to Absolutely. completely reconditioning mm, yourself. Mm, mm. Um, 
And that will make the process easier because yes. you can't change the whole country by getting upset or frustrated no, or complaining. Can't. You have to seek cares. solutions. But yep. in the in the, the good part with this is that means that there's so much opportunity. Exactly. It takes the right mindset when you come here and yeah. you figure, okay, well, how can I be part of the solution mm -hmm, versus mm -hmm. just talking about the problem, yes. sitting here like yeah. you know having my club beer. Yeah. How can I? Uh -huh. help my, and that's kind of even helped me shift my my firm instead of thinking of oh sales and leasing mm -hmm. i'm thinking like how can i help this person like ah, i've been there before yeah you know how yeah. can i help you your own experiences you? yeah yeah and that's helped exactly. me out a lot exactly that's great mm -hmm. so tell me what has your experience of the local food dishes what's that been like yeah <laughs> oh, i think it's excellent first of all i have to say like a lot of things are similar to jamaican foods like mm -hmm. how we'll make a stew or how mm -hmm. we'll put things together mm -hmm. definitely scotch bonnet pepper being in almost everything yeah yeah my favorite dishes are contomere but mm -hmm. like the ashanti way i think okay is of making it mm -hmm. um kind of like ground oh my goodness i can eat plate after plate after plate after plate with some fresh pear, as mm -hmm. they call it here. The, I like mine with fish. Avocado pear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like mine with fish, um, the soft banana, mm -hmm. yam. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I love that so much. <laughs> but then I really like, I have gobe like oh in the morning okay. for, for breakfast. That's a nice hearty breakfast. Mm -hmm. I have found excellent places to enjoy watche. So mm -hmm. I, I love watche. Yeah. Um, ground nut soup mm -hmm. and rice. Definitely yeah. is another favorite. Mm -hmm. And then obviously jollof and chicken, you know, yeah. my banku and tilapia. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you got yeah. right in there, haven't yeah. you? You're like, yeah. I'm trying oh. it all. <laughs> <laughs> I can't come and kill myself. Yeah. I can't come and kill myself. That's right. Oh, that's so good. It's <laughs> good. As long as you find a place where you feel comfortable mm -hmm. with how things are being prepared and you mm -hmm. can really enjoy the process. Mm -hmm. There's a place on the beach that I really like to go to, okay. on the Bali Beach, Ozzy's Beach Palace. Ah, uh, yeah, I know Ozzy's. Oh, my favorite place. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'll call it's him and really say, yeah, nice. I'm coming. It's really nice yeah. there, isn't it? I've yeah. been there a few times. Always yeah, made I know well. Mm. Um, you can tell it's made with love. Yeah. And that's kind of where I go mostly mm. to get a lot of my local fix. And then Buka here mm -hmm. in Hosu is nice Yeah, too. yeah, that's good too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so would you say overall you're having a really good experience? Can you ever imagine yourself having to go back? No, that's the hard part. You know, my friends are even calling me and they're like, hey, there's a lot of opportunity, give me a resume. Mm. And I think about it and I'm like, mm. you know, it's something, it's something to experience, like moving to completely different everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, there's great things that make it easier to bridge the gap, but yeah. is it completely different everything? And look, I built something like, Mm -hmm. I love my apartment. Yeah. You know, it took me quite a bit to get to here, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. but I love what I built. I love that like people know my name yeah, in the yeah. industry, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. I love that I can chart how my time goes, you know. Yeah. So I'm enjoying mm -hmm. the minutes. Mm -hmm. Whereas you go to the States, like you've got nine to five with your salary. 24-7 is somebody yeah. else's time. Yeah. How many years did I work so hard and not take vacations? I remember because of something that happened at work, I wasn't able to be at my best friend's bachelorette, mm. you know, party and like it. Mm. Because of work. There's no flexibility in it. But yeah. here, I'm in the driver's seat. Yeah. And because of that, mm -hmm. I absolutely feel empowered. Mm. And so it will be hard to think of going back to you know, my previous life, but I uh, I always say this, not my will, but thine be done. So mm. whatever God has for me is what's happening. Yeah, yeah. But I have a feeling that Africa is a big part of that. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah, entire yeah, continent. yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay. I have big dreams. Yeah, good, follow them, follow yes. them. You'll get there, you know. Absolutely, thank you. Oh, thank you, <laughs> and thank you for talking to me today. I've really sure. enjoyed speaking with you. It's been nice and easy, so. Oh. Appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so if someone wants to find out more about the business side of you, where can they reach you? Um, so my, I guess maybe as you post this, we can share my contact details mm -hmm. in a written way, but I yep. have a website, mm -hmm. I've got social media, I'm on Facebook, I'm on LinkedIn, mm -hmm. I'm on TikTok now. Everywhere. Oh, you're on TikTok? Yeah. Oh, I'll have to check it out. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and doing so, a few dances there. No, please. No. <laughs> No, no please, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> doing any dances. But if okay. you want to see my properties, mm -hmm. if you want to see like a behind the scenes of yeah. living the life in mm -hmm. Ghana, 
um, or being in real estate, mm -hmm. that's definitely a good place to connect. Awesome, okay. So don't worry, I'll put all your details into the description box so people can find you, so no worries about that. Cool. Okay, guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's interview. I definitely have done. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, I would love it if you would do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Don't forget, also like, comment, and share this video. Until next time, I am out, Nutty Fafa. <laughs>